uh, this guideline uh, based on American Society of Echocardiography. Before uh, introducing T probe, uh, there is some protocol and uh, preparation. Let's see the uh, protocol. After acquiring patient history and performing a physical examination, assess uh, whether T is indicated and there is no contraindication, obtain informed consent for the procedure and sedation. Ensure that NP status has been maintained for at least six hours for solid and four hours for liquid. Decide on method of sedation. Patient should maintain NPO for at least one hour after the procedure and should not drive rest of the day. Danger should be removed. Perform procedure timeout per institution protocol. Within 15 to 20 minutes post procedure, the patient should be examined for sign of complication, including visual inspection of the oropharynx. Every patient should be prepared with ECG monitor, BP cup that recycle every two to three minutes, respiration and oxygen saturation monitoring, suction catheter, IV access for medication and fluids, advanced airway equipment should be on hand. T laboratory equipment, cleaning of probe in running water, sterilization using 2% glutal dehyde, further medication of T, oropharyngeal topical anesthetic agent, sedation mucosal drying agent, emergency cardiac medications. Jalocan spray given before the procedure, 4 to 5 puffs is sufficient for local anesthesia. Uh, how to introduce the probe? Let's uh, see the video. Patient on uh, left lateral position. And uh, I am not using any sedation, basically, but patient is comfortable. I am using uh, only in state, nothing else. I am last five years I use patient vision comfortable. I will give you a Atal septal defect is most common congenital acyanotic heart disease. There is four types of atal septal defect. Most common uh, ostium secundum, 80%, ostium primum, sinus venous type defect. This is SVC or IVC, and root coronary sinus. This is rims of the uh, intraatal septum. Aortic, aortic rim, AB valve rim, IVC rim, posterior rim, SVC rim, and superior rim. There is six rim in atal septal defect. The following rim should be evaluated before the procedure AB valve, aortic rim, or anterior superior rim, AB valve rim, or anterior inferior rim, SVC rim, or posterior superior rim, IVC rim, or posterior inferior rim, true posterior between ASD and posterior atrial wall. Right upper pulmonary vein rim, posterior rim between ASD and upper right pulmonary vein. When we called deficiency of rim, by convention, if it is less than 5 millimeter, then it is called deficiency of rim. And if the margin is less than 5 millim 3 millimeter, considered absent. But a strength of a rim is more important than the length. But image doesn't tell us the strength of rim, but the thickness and brightness of tissue may predict the strength of rim. Deficient outer rim doesn't represent an absolute contraindication for device closure. IBC and posterior rim are more important. Measured axis diameter should be measured in ventricular in system. Most defects are ellipsoid. Let's check the morphological variation of uh, deficient rim. More common is Retroaortic rim, this is 42%. Next, uh, inferior posterior rim, 12%. Perforated aneurysm of the septum, 8%. Multiple defect, 7%. Combined deficiency of mitral and aortic rim, 4%. Deficient I SVC rim and coronary sinus rim is 1%. Uh, this is different T view showing ASD and ASD and rims. Uh, uh, this is uh, 
aortic rim, this is SBC rim, IBC rim, this is four chamber view showing AV valve ring, this is short axis view, this is 30 degree angle, uh, this is aortic ring, posterior rim, this is SBC rim and I IBC rim. Measurement of uh, rims. From this point to this point, this point to this point, uh, this is SBC rim and this point to this point. We should measure uh, by this way the rim. Uh, it's a soft reminder, time's up. Uh, this is retroaortic rim. This is sinus venosus uh, type ASD. Unroofed coronary sinus, shunt through left to uh, right atrium through coronary sinus. This is shape of 3D or 4D shape of ASD. This is round or uh, oval, small and large. ASD characteristic that should be routinely measured and reported. ASD type, flow, presence or absence of atrial septal aneurysm, associate findings, ASD size, maximum size and minimum size, key points of atrial septal defect. Uh, five basic T view for assessment of septal uh, anatomy, angulation in between uh, zero degree to 135 degree, basal transverse view, four chamber view, short axis view, bicabal view and long, long axis view. And proposition uh, should be mid to, mid to upper esophagus. This is contrast echo. This is 3D, 3D echo. This is absent retro retroaortic rim. Thank you for patience hearing. Thank you, Dr. Roshan Masood, for your beautiful presentation. And now I am welcome question answer session for four minutes. And I'm asking for question from the participants. Participant, please. Dr. Roshan, thank you very much for your brilliant presentation. My question is that for the last four years you are doing transversal echocardiogram. What is the most complications you have observed during this time? Again, sir? Any complications of TE you have seen or found during this four years time? Uh, uh, during TE, uh, uh, mostly patient is uh, um, desaturated. Uh, uh, some, uh, I, I found one patient develop SBT. Okay, let me share one of the things with you. Since 1991, we are doing transversal echocardiogram in CMH Dhaka. And in 1994, one of my colleague was doing the transversal echocardiogram. And at that time, the patient wanted to vomit it. And during that time, tip of the, your transducer bent. And he became unable to pull it out. And what we did, that sometimes this can happen because we used to only use the local and in the throat, nothing else. So we request our thoracic surgeon, we open the OT, we request our radiographer to take the serum in the OT to bring that out. And Allah is so kind, after initiating the general anesthesia, patient relaxed and we could pull it out very slowly. So you should keep in mind something Thank you, sir, uh, Thank you. for your question and uh, comment. I ask question from, the, uh, from our young cardiologist. Here are lots of young cardiologists. Do you have any question regarding this, please? Dr. Partho, Dr. Nazmul, Dr. Atik. Please participate, it's for you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Roshan, uh, for your excellent and spectacular demonstration of assessment of uh, atrial septal defects. Uh, my uh, question is, that is the, which rim deficient is absolute contraindication for ASD device closure, and how we can assess this rim? Which rim deficiency is, is an absolute contraindication for ASD device closure, and how we can assess that rim in which is a specialized view? Actually, sir, I can understand your language. 
बेटर Sometimes we uh, in uh, transverse visual echo, it is very difficult to. Sometimes the, uh, the uh, assessment is difficult. But uh, there are some specialized view in 90 to 120 degree. Uh, it is the bicaval view. Yes, okay. Sir. But uh, in, uh, in case of assessment of uh, rat, uh, IVC, IVC rim, you have to go 70 degree with some retroflexion. Yes. That sir. will visualize the yes, sir. IVC rim better. So, uh, some manipulation needed. Thank you. Thank you, sir, uh, for your uh, question and uh, expert opinion. Now I like to uh, 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 request Dr. Tuinok, madam, for giving some uh, comment about his lecture. I'm going to ask a question. Hello. So my question is to the presenter. First of all, I must express my wholehearted gratitude to Almighty. The Dr. Roshan is my younger brother. and for giving him a new life as you all know that he was very sick and uh, now he is very bright by the grace of almighty and he has also presented very brightly and being a surgeon i want to know do you put any comment that the after doing your tee that this patient is amenable to surgery or amenable yes. to device yes okay. every Thank time uh, because most I of it Because most of it is not i being a surgeon when i got a asd because it is not amenable to device closure okay i have to uh, write this is for surgery okay many yeah. often i plan Obviously. to go for trans axillary or minimal invasive for doing asd okay. particularly okay. with the if the patient is young or female that's the thing i wanted to ask you thank you very much thank you thank you Okay, congratulations, Ashish Masood, for your excellent presentation. Just I want to, yes, we are happy that after long suffer, suffering, you are here and you will present the case. And I want to make some comment that you, we do not use the sedation. Sedation is not necessary for transesophageal echocardiography, but jalokin jelly or jalokin viscous is important because we rub the probe with the jalokin viscous. Is this makes the soothing uh, and uh, yes. this help the yes. patient for swallowing. and another point before trans esophageal echocardiography we routinely do the trans uh, thoracic echocardiography Obviously. trans thoracic echocardiography is very It's important because young adolescent and even in, for children in adolescent and young children when subcostal echo window is adequate all the rims we can assess adding subcostal echo window to the apical and the parastal echo window so most of the cases if subcostal echo window is adequate no need of trans esophageal echocardiography transesophageal echocardiography is especially important when we cannot see the ivc rim by trans uh, by subcostal echo window so adding transthoracic echo to transesophageal echo is very important and scanning by transthoracic echo is very much important before going to transesophageal echocardiography that i want to mention and for device closure the most important rim is ivc rim and for bicaval view we need to move the probe from 70 Usually 90 to 120 degree. Uh, sometimes we need to move to 120 degree and retroflexion. Then we can see the IVC rim. Thank, thank you. Thank you, madam. Uh, thank you, Dr. Roshan Masood, for your beautiful presentation.